so we have just concluded this lengthy but important discussion with the authorities um, and the officials within the, the, the fishing sector, the Prime Minister, our Minister Ezekiel. Um, I must say, let me say from the onset, that there is no bad blood between the fisher folk and the authority. Our concern when we got the information on Friday was that there was no consultation and we felt that was the, that was the pricking point there. Um, we had in April, like Minister Ezekiel noted, had a consultation where certain things were agreed to and it was done amicably. So of course a lot of things have been branded around on social media, on the radio, on the TV. It's because we were not in a position to tell our fisher folk that this is what it is. We appreciate if the, the Prime Minister decided, based on the, the information from the technocrats, that it was important to shut down for a week to put A, B and C in place. We have come to this juncture where we've taken decisions, decisions and for us the most important thing, the two most important things were one, being able to take, get our fishers back to work as my colleague indicated, but two, recommitting our, our, our resources to helping fight the COVID issue. Because as fisher folk, we're not immune to the consequences of COVID. We understand what it means to the pocket of the fisher folk. And so this is why we recommitted our, our resources and whatever we need to do to ensure that that is done. And so I am very glad that we are at that juncture. Um, I know some of the fisher folk will be disappointed because it, it means there is one more day added to the inability, but Thursday is not too far away. And what we're hoping, what we're appealing to our fisher folk is to ensure that whatever protocols that we've agreed to on their behalf here today, that they play their part in ensuring that the system works because it's in the best interest of, of the fisher folk, it's the best interest of the country. And so we will play our part, I'm committing that, that we will play our part because we understand the importance of doing so. It cannot be a marine police versus, versus COVID into St. Lucia. It has to be the nation. It has to be a national. We have to tackle it on a national front. All right. Marine Police, of course, we, we are trying to enlist all the help that we can get, including the help of the fishers. And, and I'm glad we, that we are putting this out now. And I'm making this plea to, to not just the fishers, but to everybody that if they have any information, they can actually call 452-7463 or they can call 456-3990. They can call the minister. They can call my commander, Commander Leos, privately. If, you, if there is any mistrust that the information that they are giving will not be dealt with confidentially, they can call him at 285-8685. You can call the Commissioner of Police, you can call the DCP. I assure you that all that information given will be treated confidently. It will be treated. And again, let me say that no tidbit of information will be inconsequential. Whatever tidbit that you have, please present it because a tidbit here, a tidbit there is going to make quite a lot. We want to appeal to the Bonifai Fishers and we have made a commitment that we are going to work together with the authorities, the fishing, the fishing department, the police, to help them with um, information that is going to curb any form of illicit activities, whether, whether it is human trafficking. And we know one of the biggest problems before COVID was a drug issue. And so now there's an, um, uh, uh, an an uh, opportunity that is available so that not only that they can look at the human traffic, trafficking element because of COVID, but beyond that, that the police will be tooled with the necessary equipment and, and of course the cooperation of the sector, the, the fishing sector, as well as the Department of Fisheries to be able to curb um, what is happening. That That is not only um, affecting us as fishers, but also affecting the citizenry in terms of crime. I want to, to say that I was happy that we were able once again to revisit these protocols. We were happy that um, at least the, 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 the discussions that took place um, realized the need for us to be serious and to get the support of our fisher folk, because that's important. 
is critical for us. Information sharing is critical for us. I'm happy that we are able to come up with, to, with some resolution. I'm happy that we have been able to um, meet with the, the, the sector this morning, representatives of the sector this morning, and of course, moving forward, we will see how we can continue the dialogue and of course, see how we can um, work together in remedying that challenge that we face with. So I just want to again say I want to thank um, the, the cooperatives for um, attending the meeting today. And again, I want to reiterate um, that this meeting should have probably taken place on Friday. Um, but I think that hopefully you'll give and forgive me um, the fluidity of the situation, the urgency of what we had to do. Um, and that doesn't uh, justify in any way, but that's what my reality was. Um, and you know, we continue to see new cases. Um, thank thankfully, most of the new cases recently have been already in quarantine. So it means that the procedures that we are using of contact tracing are working. And sadly, you know, we have over 151 people in quarantine. Um, so I have no idea how many numbers we might end up in, but the good news is that I think that we have been able to curtail the spread um, on a local basis, on a community basis but we're always going to be vulnerable to the back door. And as we discussed, it's impossible to have a system that's going to work 100%, but as we reiterated the meeting, we have to do everything that we can to make sure we have it at 100%. I'm comfortable that the GPS system will go a long ways in helping, because once we know who is out, um, anybody else who is coming in that's not detected, we know that that person more than likely is, is not really up to something that's good. I want to reiterate what the Marine Police said. All of us have to be part of this. So even the persons in the community, knowing that persons have come in illegally, have to report it. You're not immune. Your family members are not immune. We all must understand that we're in this together. And one of the things that we reiterated at the meeting today, that when COVID came out as early as February, when we made the decision that we were going to allow the CMO to be the spokesperson, it was a very strong signal by my government that we were deep politicizing the situation. And the typical lens that you would look at, of a political lens of, of decisions you were making, set aside. And that we're having to make tough decisions on a regular basis, and that I know that there are persons who are not happy with those decisions, but I can assure all solutions that they're being made in the interest of everyone and the best interest of this country.